on feet today. New Balance. Nine on eight. Um, I hope the sound is not going to be too bad because I didn't bring the mic to work and I got this in today. The Nike Air Zoom Spiriton. Two sizes, 12 and a half and 13. And the 13 is going to go back to the store because it's just a little bit too big, just too wide. I mean, the length, lengthwise it is okay, but the width is just... Uh, so we'll take these out and uh, take these home. And these stay here. I'm gonna send them back tomorrow. Bye bye. The Nike Air Zoom Spiriton had been first released in 1997 and had seen a re-release in 2016, of course on the OG colorway silver, black and red. Throughout 2017 it had seen a couple of more colorway releases, for example on a quick strike model which featured an all white mesh upper and an either grey, blue or green paneling. There is also the Ultra model which has a completely different midsole, it has a hyperfused material on the mudguard and an integrated tongue. Altogether this makes it look more modern and more contemporary. Let's take a closer look at the white University Red colorway that is featured here today. It is based on the OG model's materials and it has, as the name already gives it away, a University Red mudguard, an all-white mesh upper and a kind of off-white grayish painted midsole. On the side we'll find a silver vinyl Nike swoosh, some Nike branding on the mudguard, more Nike branding on the tongue and an additionally the Nike Air Zoom Spiridon branding on the heel tab. Characteristic for the Spiridon is the wavy swirly midsole but also the 3M piping that goes all around the shoe on the eyelets of the lacing system and on the side paneling. The Spiridon gets its name from the Air Zoom paws that you can find at the heel and the forefoot section of the shoe that gives it a very comfortable almost ultra boost like ride. I also like the speed lacing system, it enables you to get in and out of the shoe very quickly. Sizing wise, these fit true to size, so go with your usual Nike sizing. I do like the Spirit on quite a bit and even more so than the Air Max 1, because it has the more unique silhouette and you don't see many people wearing it so you stand out a little bit more from the crowd. Also it has the better midsole cushioning and these two factors actually make this a winner in my book. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and if you like this video give this a thumbs up. So thanks everyone for watching, I hope I'm gonna see you next time and until then, bye bye.